Do not knock that over. <laughs> so, this is my husband, Aaron. Hi. And I thought it would be fun to ask him some questions about what he feels about me becoming a flight attendant. She, she thought it would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, how long have we been married? Almost eight months. Oh, you had it right. Because this is the second take, so he's got it this time. It took me three seconds the first time. Well, he's been super supportive during this process, which yeah. has taken a long time. I don't know if you guys know, but um, sometimes it takes a long time. I applied in July, and I will just be going to training in January. So that's a long time. That's not like a normal job. A normal job, you like apply, and two weeks later, you're already working. So thanks for being so supportive. You're welcome. Okay. The note card is very intimidating <laughs> for the record. She picked the thing up off the end table and I'm like, seriously? Overall. <laughs> wonder if I can make you cry like Barbara Walters. Maybe. What do you think about me becoming a flight attendant? It's like I've said before. I work the soul-crushing job and... I like that you don't have to work a job just to have a job. Like, you were able to take six-ish months or more to find a job that you actually wanted. So, and I've told you that from the beginning. Yes. You do whatever makes you happy. Since I have to work the soul-crushing job anyway, you're reaping all the benefits of that. Go me! Reaping the benefits. And she's enjoying our interview. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. What do you think I will like about it best? I think that you will like going to, basically traveling, going to all the places. I, I really hope that you don't get stuck, like, flying from Charlotte, North Carolina to Duluth back and forth three times a week. Or something like that, like... I hope you have some variety. I hope you get to Babe, go. Babe, you're going to alienate my Duluth viewers. <laughs> Duluth? I'm sorry. Duluth, you're awesome. <laughs> Where is Duluth? In Minnesota. Oh, I was thinking Georgia. No, no. Okay. Duluth is cold. You don't do the cold. I don't do the cold, well. But I hope you get a variety so that you're not going to the same place all the time. Maybe you get to go some places that you've never been. And maybe you could do the sightseeing without me because I'll be here with the cat. He doesn't like to travel. Don't, don't let him persuade you that he will be stuck here because he doesn't like to travel anyway. What do you think will, my biggest struggle will be? I already know what you're going to say. Yumi? No. Being away from Yumi. No. Well, that's not what I thought you were going to say. What did you think I was going to say? Getting up early in the morning. That is a good answer. I Not necessarily getting up early, but getting up on an irregular schedule. I think it'll take you a while to get used to that. Because you don't go to bed early. No, I don't. I'm a night owl. Right. So you already have trouble going to bed when you should, when you know you have to get up. So maybe this will whip you into shame. You need to be whooped in the shape. <laughs> what do you think your biggest struggle with, will be with me being a flight attendant? Well, um, we haven't spent more than like five days apart since we got together. It's going to be weird. Uncomfortable? Not uncomfortable, but I'm going to miss you. It's going to be so quiet in the house. Because there's not going to be reality TV on all the time. Don't tell them how I like reality <laughs> TV. I'm supposed to be an intelligent. I watch documentaries. You PBS. <laughs> National Geographic. Old war films. Little Women Atlanta. Ah! No, no, no. Don't tell them that. That's a guilty pleasure. Okay. Well, regardless, 
It's going to be really weird not having you home when I get home. Like I like Little Women LA way better than Little Women Atlanta. <laughs> you're, you're, you're egging it on, not me. It's, it's weird enough when you're out running errands and you're not home when I get home. Because I'm a homebody. So if you're gone for six weeks and uh, you're not home any day, like that's going to be really weird. You could have just said uncomfortable, that you would fall into despair and depression. I'm gonna stop. That you would stop eating. I'm gonna stop shaving and showering, and that you would just curl into a ball, wallow in my own filth. With Yumi, would have to come up and like nudge you and be like, "Come on, Dad." Come and then on. eventually, she'd eat me because I didn't have the will to feed her. Yes, that's that's what I want to hear. How much will you miss me? A million. How do you put? How do you quantify something like that? A lot. Um, if you you would find a way, I'll if say, you really miss okay. me. More than I have ever missed anyone in my life. Oh, you're so sweet. That's the you're, truth. He's hamming it up. That's no, that's the truth. That's next question. Uh-oh. How I many <laughs> of my four subscribers <laughs> are you? One. You are you sure? You don't have like four separate YouTube One. accounts. One. And my mom doesn't have four separate YouTube accounts. I was not even the first subscriber. So what you're saying I is. I was the fourth. There is someone out there in the universe. Yes. Who actually wants to see how much of a dork I am. Apparently. I don't know if I believe you. But. I, so you're only 25% of my subscribers. Right. All right. I'll take that. But you have 100% of my support. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I would probably saddle the duck and float it around. I wouldn't just fight it. I would tame it. Oh. (laughs) Break it. And then we would go cruising around. Maybe the canal downtown. On our horse-sized duck? a good answer. I wasn't prepared for you to be prepared for that question. It's a it's a fairly common fairly common thing recently. Sorry. What do you what do you think about me possibly being based in a place like Miami or New York? Um well you hate Florida. I don't hate Florida. Now you're alienating my Florida viewers. I lived in Florida. You don't like you don't like living in you Florida. You are from Florida. Sorry. She doesn't hate Florida. She just doesn't like living in Florida. You were born in Florida? Yes. I I love Florida. <laughs> okay. Um I lived in Destin for a while and I just thought it was incredibly touristy because it's a tourist town and it just wasn't my vibe. Okay. What was the question again? What do you think about me being based in like Miami or New York or those specifically? No, or just me being based so far away. Because we knew you weren't going to get based anywhere near here to begin with. Right, there's not Oklahoma mm. City bases. You can any airline. You cannot get a flight from Oklahoma to anywhere. You always have to take a connection. Unless you're going to Dallas. Right, or Denver. Or Charlotte. There's three right there. Okay. I think there might be a straight through to Atlanta. What do you think if I got based in New York? Um, I actually really like New York. I've never been there. I would come visit you in New York. Well, that's nice. I would really come visit you wherever you go. Damn right you will. I would prefer Miami. Why would you prefer Miami? Because I'm a warm weather beach type person, not a cold weather person. And since it's January, I know it's not going to be cold all year. Right. right now it's cold, so that's what's on my brain. Okay. How much do you love me? <laughs> she asks me this all the time. <laughs> well? It's another one. Like, I tell you a billion. and It's not that impressive, it's, is it's it? It's not enough, I guess. Like, she's like, a billion what? And I'm like, parsecs? I don't know. Like, like people are billionaires, so it's like if someone can have that many dollars, you should love me more than dollars they have. Gazillion, is that enough? I guess. From here to the sun and back, mm. that's a long way. That's pretty far. It's like yeah. ninety lifetimes. So you, or something. You love me ninety lifetimes. Yes. Okay. 
At a, a minimum. Game. It's a free game, so. At a minimum. That's all the questions I wrote down. Okay. What was that? I think I nailed it. You you did you did fairly well. You really did. Fairly well. Yeah, I don't want to give you a big head or anything. Okay. So if you guys have any questions for me or for my hubby, um, go ahead and comment, and I'll be sure to ask them on camera very uncomfortably because I thoroughly enjoyed it. With no forewarning at all. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't let him know. I, he came home, and I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna ask you some questions on camera." Let's do it after dinner. And I said, you're going to have to talk to my publicist and they're going to have <laughs> to approve the questions. And she said, tough. And I said, your publicist is you, me. <laughs> she meowed at us. <laughs> you, me, come here. Come here. I have a treat. Oh, she does know the word treat. Come here. Come say bye to my four subscribers, three subscribers. Come on. I, I can, I'm here. Oh, okay. I Come can. here. Yumi. He's very, Yumi. She's suspicious of the camera. She is. She's very suspicious. All right, say bye. Oh. We're a happy little family. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha.